Christian Bates here with Longevity Power in a creek forest, and I want to talk to you about one of the most important topics you will continue to encounter on your nutritional journey. You see, that topic is dogma and judgment. We're simply wired as humans to approach things, whether it's spirituality, religion, a, a physical practice, a nutritional practice, uh, with a certain grasping with a certain thing where we have this dogma. We either start to preach dogmatically or we really start to like obey someone else or both at the same time. And we do this with good intentions because we see this idea that seems to have really great results. And we think maybe this gives everybody results all the time that are awesome. But really it probably only gives some people good results some of the time. And that could be any one of the many dietary strategies out there. For myself, I used to be a lot of different diets. I don't even want to go into them for this video. But I've changed so much that I have a lot of friends online and in the real world who are really still into the diet that I used to be really into dogmatically. I admit it, I used to be a dogmatic asshole. It's true. In fact, we've all probably been a dogmatic asshole about certain topics in our life, and now it's time to just let that go and realize, hey, we're all unique, all seven billion of us, and we're all changing. So that's two unique things. Not only are we unique, but we are uniquely changing. And so our nutritional strategy must also uniquely change. This is really cool. This means that in any moment, you can create the most perfected, individualized elixir, smoothie, meal for your body so that you can accelerate and get closer to your health goals faster. And then create newer, even greater health goals as long as you're adapting, as long as you're dynamic and have a perfect balance of open-mindedness and discipline, right? And therefore, when you are, say, on Facebook or on a blog thread and encounter judgment or in real life and in events, uh, nutrition events, uh, some people, and they're really holding on to their, say, vegan or primal or some label. But there is no label. I believe in labeling food, but I don't think you should label yourself. See, you have something far greater than a label, and that's you. In fact, even someone who approaches you, they got this anger, they have this argument, you should be this, eat this because it's better for you and because it's better for the environment, because it's better for the animals and all this stuff, and yet secretly, they just want you to shine you. They really do. They want that more than you to be this militant uh, <laughs> nutritional paradigm uh, reflection of themselves. So keep on shining on and share what's working for you passionately, but not dogmatically. You know, this is working for me right now. It might work for you, or parts of what I'm doing might work for you right now, or parts of what I'm doing right now might work perfectly for you in the near future. And then what works for me right now might stop working for me in the next few weeks or years. And I will continue to adapt and evolve my diet as I continue to adapt and evolve with an open heart and an open mind. And I'm realizing that we're all on the same team. Even if someone is like into, say, fluoride and GMOs, they're into those things because they think they're good for human health. They're a foodie. They're really into bettering humanity, and they just have maybe a complete opposite idea of a certain nutritional strategy. So put the people first. Put your friends, your fellow brothers and sisters first. And then maybe, you know, you might plant some seeds so that they can change from their own experience, from their own heart so that it which is such a beautiful journey. I mean, I probably had a lot of times 
where someone told me something that I could have done better, but I wasn't ready to hear it. And in not just listening to them and discovering things myself, that there's certain soul food in that. Although I don't recommend going purposely going slow. I, I say if someone has an idea that, you know, then research it, try it, experiment it, be willing to try new foods. All right. What would you do if you discovered that a major part of your nutritional strategy stopped working and the opposite worked? What would you do? Would you just be like, would you just have, would you be angry? Or would you just be like, oh, what a relief. I'm so open to this new experience. Let me know in the comments section below. Would you be angry? Or would you just be like, oh my god, thank god that was all backwards. Now I can move forward with this and it's really cool and new and I'm already feeling results from it. I think you're probably going to say the second. But if you do feel anger from it too, um, totally normal. Totally just ride that for a while. Why not? Gear your passion towards something productive. Let me know.